Hi, welcome to Pathology Riddles. We would like to wish all our subscribers and viewers a very happy new year 2022. Hope this year brings a lot of happiness in each of your lives and wish you all the success in achieving your goals. Today's topic is intracellular accumulation. It is in a question answer format. So question 1. What do you mean by intracellular accumulation? So the answer is, due to metabolic dearrangement, various substances accumulate within the cell. These substances may either be harmless or may cause varying degree of injury. They can be endogenous or exogenous. These are lipids, proteins, glycogen, etc. Question 2. Which part of the cell do these substances accumulate in? So the answer is, cytoplasm, organelles, mostly lysosomes, and nucleus. That was easy, right? Third question. What are the mechanisms or pathways through which these substances accumulate? So the answer is the first mechanism. Due to defect in packaging and transport, there is inadequate removal of normal substances, hence they accumulate within the cell. For example, fatty change in liver. Mechanism 2. Due to genetic or acquired defects in folding, packaging and secretion, abnormal endogenous substances accumulate. For example, mutated forms of alpha-1 antitrypsin. Mechanism 3. Failure in degrading a metabolite due to inherited enzyme deficiencies results in accumulation of metabolite within. For example, storage disease. Mechanism 4. Due to absence of enzymatic machinery to degrade or transport abnormal exogenous substances, these exogenous substances accumulate. For example, carbon particles. So, there are four mechanisms. Now, the fourth question. What is steatosis or fatty change? Abnormal accumulation of triglycerides within the parenchymal cells is called steatosis or fatty change. Fifth question. Name four sites where fatty change occurs. So the fatty change can occur mostly in liver as it is the organ involved in fat metabolism. But fatty change can also occur in heart, muscle and kidney. Question six. Name four conditions in which intracellular accumulation of cholesterol occurs. So the answer is atherosclerosis, xanthomas, cholesterolosis and neiman pick disease type C. Seventh question. What are xanthomas? Xanthomas is just a cluster of foamy cells that is cholesterol accumulation within the macrophages in sub-epithelial connective tissue of skin and tendon, which produces tumorous mass called xanthomas. Eighth question. Well, what is cholesterolosis? Cholesterolosis is focal accumulation of cholesterol-laden macrophages in lamina propria of gallbladder. In a case of cholesterolosis, you can see cholesterol-laden macrophages just under the epithelium which area is called sub-epithelium. Question 9. How do you identify intracellular accumulation of proteins in HNE stain slides? So in HNE stain slides, they are seen in cytoplasm and as rounded eosinophilic droplets, as vacuoles or aggregates. Tenth question. What are Russell bodies? Russell bodies are seen in plasma cells. The endoplasmic reticulum becomes distended, producing homogeneous eosinophilic inclusions, which actually contain excessive amount of immunoglobulins. Question 11. Name one disease having intracellular accumulation of cytoskeletal protein. So the answer is Alzheimer's disease, which has neurofibrillary tangles. Twelfth question. What do you mean by hyaline change? Hyaline change is an alteration within the cells 
or in extracellular space. It actually appears homogeneous glassy pink in routine H&E stain, stain sections. Hyaline change actually is not just one change. It is basically when you see in H&E stain sections, the whole thing has become isnophilic and uniform. Then you call it as hyaline change. It can be produced by many different kinds of substances. So that is all for today. Do like, share and subscribe if you like the video. This is Dr. Bismay signing out until we meet again in the next video. Bye.